In this video, we'll demonstrate how to assemble the Tusk Sub-Zero UTV push tube and plow blade, and then attach it to your machine. You can refer to our plow mount installation videos for instructions on attaching the mount to your specific machine. The push tube and blade come in two separate boxes as you can see. We're first going to unbox the push tube, so just cut the straps and tape holding the box together. Go ahead and open the box up. Inside you'll find everything has been wrapped and zip tied together, so just start removing items from the box. First we'll remove the hardware, go ahead and set that aside. And next we'll need to cut the zip ties in order to remove the blade angle bracket. Go ahead and remove that from the bubble wrap, set that aside as well. Then we'll remove the push pivot from the box. Pull that from the bubble wrap, we'll set that aside. Now you can pull the push tube from the box and you'll find that the springs and eye bolts are zip tied to that, so cut those and remove the springs. Now you'll want to cut the hardware bag open. You'll find all the hardware has been assembled and packaged together. This helps keep the confusion away about which piece goes where. So just lay it out and make sure you have all the pieces. Now we're ready to begin assembling the push tube. We'll just need a few standard tools to do this. You'll find a list of these on your provided instructions with the plow system. So with the push tube sitting on a flat surface, position the push pivot onto the push tube making sure to line up the two holes in each piece. Next we're going to sit the blade angle bracket as shown on top of the push pivot and push tube. Make sure the pin slides into the holes in the push pivot and push tube. Next find the M16 by 40 millimeter bolt with the spacer on it. Disassemble it and we need to position the spacer between the blade angle bracket and the push tube as shown. Slide the M16 by 40 millimeter bolt down through all three pieces, then slide the washer and thread the nut onto the back side. We're going to leave this loose for now. Next find the other M16 by 40 millimeter bolt. This one won't have a spacer on it and this bolt is going to come up from the bottom through the front of the push tube and then through the push pivot plate, through the flat washer and into the nylock nut. Now that we've got both bolts in place, we can tighten them down. The front bolt needs to be tightened down all the way and then backed off a half a turn. Doing this will allow the blade to pivot properly. On the rear bolt, we can just tighten it down all the way and leave it there. Next we're going to open up the blade box, cut the straps and tape and then open it up. Go ahead and remove the blade and underneath the blade don't forget to grab the small box. This small box contains both the plow blade skids. Next just align the plow blade with the push tube and we're going to install the four way tilt stops. These will sit in the upper holes of the push pivot so just remove the nut and flat washer and slide the bolt through the hole with the tilt stop on the bolt. Then just slide the flat washer and thread the nut on the back side. Now we can just go ahead and tighten this down. You want to leave this just loose enough to where you can still turn the tilt stop. And then just repeat these steps for the other side. Go ahead and install the four-way tilt stop, then tighten it down just enough. Make sure they're both sitting in the same position and we'll be adjusting these a little later. The next step is to align the two holes in the front of the push pivot up with the two corresponding holes in the blade. When you've got that, locate the M12 by 35 millimeter bolts that have the small collar on them like you see here. Remove the nut, flat washer, and collar, and then install the bolt through the blade and then through the push pivot. Now you want to slide that collar onto the bolt and into place. This is going to slide into the larger diameter hole in the push pivot and act as a bushing. Now install the flat washer and lock nut. Then we're going to repeat these steps for the other side. Slide the bolt through and then slide that collar into place. Now install the flat washer and thread the lock nut onto the back side. We're going to tighten both these bolts down all the way. Go ahead and sit the blade up and we can install the eye bolts and springs. Slide an eye bolt through each bracket on the plow and then slide on a washer and thread a nut onto each of those. Next install the springs and it's important to install them with the open end facing down. And you want to tighten the lock nut down just enough so the spring doesn't come unhooked. But at this point we still want the springs loose as we'll be adjusting them later in the video. Repeat these steps for the other spring and eye bolt. The next step is to install both gravel skids, so pull the lock pin 
Then remove everything except for one washer. Slide it through the bracket on the plow and then install another washer. And then the rubber spacer. And after that, install the rest of the washers and secure them in place with the lock pin. Repeat these steps for the other skid and we'll show you how to adjust these a little later in the video. So now that the blade and push tube has been assembled, we're ready to attach it to the machine. So pull the machine up to where the plow mount is sitting over the rear end of the push tube. Then grab the provided lock pins and lift the rear end of the push tube up into the ears of the plow mount. Slide the straight pin through the mount and push tube and then secure it by installing the hairpin through the small hole in the end of the straight pin. Repeat these steps for the other side and now your plow is attached to the machine. Now we need to connect the winch to the winch pin on the snow plow. You'll see that there are three different locations in which the winch pin can be located and you want to pick the location that's the most vertical from the winch. So in this case we'll pick the rearmost hole. So go ahead and give the winch hook some slack to work with and then we'll move the winch pin to the desired hole if needed. When you have that in place, connect the winch hook to the pin, then you'll want to go ahead and test it out. Lift the blade up and down a couple times to make sure everything's functioning properly. Now we can make our final adjustments to the four-way tilt stops. By rotating the four-way tilt stop, it'll change the angle of the blade depending on which side is resting against the blade. Let's go ahead and rotate each tilt stop into the desired position, and then tighten both of them down. After that, we can move to the springs. Now that our stops are in position, we can tighten the eye bolts until we have a little tension on each spring. It's important to make sure both springs have the same amount of tension on them. Now we'll move back to our skids once again. If you're going to be plowing on gravel or dirt, you're going to want the skids touching the ground before the blade does. So to make that adjustment, simply lift the blade up off the ground, and we've placed a block of wood underneath so we can remove the skid. Now we'll reinstall the rubber spacer and all but one washer back onto the skid before reinstalling it onto the blade. Now install that last washer on top, followed by the lock pin, and then we'll just repeat that for the other side. And now you can see that those skids keep the bottom of the blade up off the ground. If you're plowing concrete or blacktop, you want the skids raised so that the blade is touching the ground. And then with the plow slightly raised, we'll show you how to change the angle of the blade. Simply pull up on the L bracket and rotate the blade to the desired position, and now you're ready to plow. If you have any questions about the installation of the Tusk Sub-Zero snow plow system, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-336-5437 or visit us online at www.rockymountainatvmc.com. Rocky Mountain ATV MC is the leader for parts, accessories, and apparel for your motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. Thanks for watching.